Hey, what's up, YouTube? HBIC or Vexicus 4666. Give me overexposed. Normally, I have my face in this, but I'm really tired and exhausted and stuff because if you follow me on my personal Facebook and Facebook fan page and Twitter, you know that I am moving tomorrow. And yeah, I'm going to be very, very busy. So I'm not going to have no time to upload no videos. That's why I'm like cramming a lot of videos for today and just like doing everything I can for that. And then I'm catching up on my TV shows, but this is overexposed. Overexposed where I bitch rant and moan about a card price and the hype and stuff. Telling you guys, if you have it, to either keep them, store them, get ready to use them because they're like popular and stuff and people are using them, or to sell them and stuff. And this segment has been helping a lot of people out make a lot of money on cards and stuff that they've been hoarding them. You know, some people are hoarders. Not specifically saying you're a hoarder on cards and stuff, but you guys know what I mean. So, the card we're going to be talking about, as you have noticed on the screen, if I didn't pick up post up a bigger blown up picture of it is Void Trap Hole that came out in Return of the Duel. It is a super rare. Currently right now on the TC, TCG player site, it is going currently for about between $17 and $20 for no apparent reason. If you guys do remember Joe Bogley, top four regional like a week or two ago, main decking three of them that I deck profile. If you missed that video, go back a couple videos and you can go find that. And yeah, let's read what Void Trap Hole does. It is a trap card. When your opponent special summons a monster or monsters with S with 2,000 or more attack, negate the effect of one of those monsters with 2,000 or more attack, and if you do, destroy it. Which is pretty damn cool to negate the special ability of the monster and destroy it and stuff. So you can get like the cards and see when Joe used it in Cosmos, I'm thinking he wanted to use this for like to shut down like Shadals, Burning Abyss. Well, Virgil, um, Tellers, well, yeah, Teller Knights and all the other fun stuff with decks and stuff. I don't like top decks, but yeah, this card, I don't think it should be this high up. Actually, now I think about it, this card's not even reprinted. Maybe it'll get reprinted in High Speed Riders, but I doubt it. But yeah, this card, very good. If you have this card, I advise you to play it. If you don't have this card, I advise you to buy it if you want to spend the money. Or if you do have this card, sell it. But yeah, I'm making a quick little short little video on this. I promise next week I'll be back better than ever with some new content and stuff. And things I want to try. Because I don't think I'm going to do speed duels anymore. Even though there was a couple little misplays, but shit happens. But I can use the pro. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Tell me what you guys think overall. And bye. Catch me if you can.